In 1964, a paper was presented at the American Academy of Pediatrics meeting in New York City, mentioning a number of abnormal symptoms in young children referred to as the tired child syndrome. The severity of these symptoms seemed to be directly related to the amount of time the individual children spent watching television. These abnormal conditions were thought to be caused by an over-psychological stimulation resulting from the program content, that is, too many Western thrillers and murder mysteries. However, suspecting that x-rays from the TV sets might also be a possible contributing factor, I placed some bean plants in front of a TV six hours each weekday and 10 hours on Saturdays and Sundays, the same amount of time that the children were watching their TV sets. The bean plants on the right were protected with a solid lead shield that would stop x-rays and show the same amount of growth as controlled plants placed at a distance of 50 feet. The bean plants on the left were shielded only with black photographic paper that would stop all visible light but would have no effect on the x-rays. You see an extremely stimulated growth with the leaves two and a half or three times the size of the lead shielded plants. The plants near the top or above the TV set showed the roots emerging from the soil whereas the roots of the plants near the bottom or below the TV set follow their normal downward growth pattern. This has some very far-reaching implications, indicating that gravity may not be the controlling factor in the downward growth of the roots of plants, but that they may be growing away from the general background radiation that normally comes only from overhead because of the shielding effect of the massive amount of earth beneath. Next, I place some young white rats directly in front of the TV set with the same time periods as both the bean plants and the children exhibiting the tired child syndrome symptoms. Through semi-time-lapse photography, partially speeding up the action, you can see that the young rats on the left, protected only with the black photographic paper, became aggressive and more difficult to manage, whereas those on the right, protected with the lead shield, remained perfectly normal and docile. Autopsies were performed on all of these animals, which showed brain tissue damage in those protected only with the black paper, but not in those protected with the lead shielding. In another experiment, it was found that all of the TV sets in the homes of a group of hyperactive children being sent to a special adjustive educational center were giving off various amounts of x-rays, and when these sets were repaired or discarded, all of the children, within a period of only a few months, showed sufficient improvement so that they could be returned to their regular classes.